three, two, and a one. We're gonna go ahead and get that lunge twist. So you're gonna drop down, you're gonna rotate towards that front thigh, you're gonna power back into the middle and then power your leg up. You're gonna alternate legs, so you're gonna do five on each side, so 10 total. Once again, you wanna to rotate towards whatever thigh is in the front. Make sure your eyes are moving with your hands and your arms as well. And you don't have to drop your back knee if you don't like. If you want a little deeper stretch, you can keep your back knee off the ground and just rotate as you hover that knee about an inch off the floor or so. Beautiful. Making sure that those eyes, once again, move with those hands. If you want to put one arm across that knee and then open up, that'll add a little bit more spinal rotation. You can also extend those arms out in front and then rotate from there with the knee on the ground or off the ground. Now, once you're done with 10 total, then you're going to go ahead and go into a standing leg lift combo. So, so I've been in the planted knee. You're going to bring that leg forward. You're going to bring it out to the side. And then you're going to kick it back. You're doing that five times, so 15 total lifts per side, making sure that you keep the chest up, the core tight, and the eyes forward at all times. You can tap your toe in between each lift, or if you want to go for more of a balancing act, you can really just try to keep that foot off the ground, but try not to tilt the upper body as you're doing it. Make sure you keep everything elevated the entire time. Beautiful. So really keeping the chest up, really keeping the core tight. Good morning, Lisa. Hello, hello. Um, so we're getting in that side low lunge. Once you get five on each side, so 15 total reps on each side, you're gonna bring those feet to a wide stance. You're gonna shift those hips back, and then you're gonna shift your body over to one side and then the other. So really sit that butt back and down. Get that deep inner thigh groin stretch. You can add a little rotation. If you have something like a J next to you, make sure it'll kick you in the face. That was real close. <laughs> Make sure you're really sitting that butt back on those lateral lunges and make sure those toes are facing forward as well. You can also add a little spinal rotation if you're feeling a little bit of gridlock up in that spinal region. Beautiful. Now once you're done with 10 total lateral lunges, we're going to go to those high knees. So get those knees up. If you want the option like Coach Damien here, he's just marching out. He's got real long limbs and he's really getting his knee up, starting to also lift his foot up. But you can also just stay with the good old standard high knees or just more of a calm march since this is just a warm up. You're doing 20 total, so 10 on each leg. Then we're gonna get right into those jig chains, not Jojo's, I'm talking jump jacks. So you're really getting those legs out, arms up. Option, you can always just step those feet. If you have any shoulder impingements, you don't like to bring your arm up overhead, you can put the feet in the oven and take the feet out of the oven at the same time. There you go, just in and out. Beautiful. You can also minimize the range of the arms by just lifting those elbows up. Now, once you're done with those 20 jumping jacks, we got two minutes left, so we're gonna take it right back to the top. We're gonna go on that rotation with the lunge, and we're gonna start moving a little bit quicker. So once again, it's 10 total, five on each side, alternating each side as well. Making sure the abs are active, chest is up, and the core is tight. Beautiful. Once again, if you want, you can extend those arms if you like to rotate. You can keep those hands together as you rotate or you can just have them more just around your chest. Once you're done with 10 there, on those lunges, we're going with that leg lift combo. So now you're acting a little bit quicker. Once again, really thinking about keeping that torso up, <sighs> keeping those out of sight, and maintaining a soft bend in the knee of the leg in which that is planted. Good, so nice and steady, nice and sweaty, always ready. Ooh, that's right. All right, we got five on one side. Once you're done with five on one, going five to the other. Good. What I like to do is I actually like to go forward, back, and then go to the side, because then I'm allowed to really get that extra little swing in there. You can do whatever you like. Once again, it's your workout, your warm-up, work your warm and your life. Once you're ready to get on those lateral lunges, feet are wide, shift the hips back, and you're really getting deep. If you want a deeper lateral lunge, like Coach D here, you can swivel on the, the heel and point those toes to the sky. That will allow you to get a little bit deeper. Good. Once you're done with 10 on each side, right back in those high knees. We got just over 30 seconds to go. Go on, team. Good. We're really getting those knees up. Make sure we're not leaning back. We want to actually lean up and forward. Make sure that torso is upright and parallel with the wall. Good. Once you're done with those 20, I'm going to finish with jumping jacks for the remainder of the warm up. Once again, with those jumping jacks, don't forget, you can always just set those feet up. Whatever you need to do, you can do it. 10 seconds. By the way, I don't know if you guys noticed, but they updated the digital uh, a little bit on the, on the timer. It looks really nice. Three, two, and one. 
good. And we're good. Great job. Air five. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, y'all. So we got these intervals coming up. So you're going to do side, uh, uh, you're going to do uh, exercise one through four, 40 on, 20 off in intervals. So we're doing it in a nice circuit fashion. Um, exercise number one, you're going to do a squat toe touch. So you're going to bring those hands out to a, a parallel to the floor, feet wide, you're going to drop the butt down, touch the opposite toe. Option, you can just touch your knee, you can also just do good old fashioned squats. After that, we're going to do lateral shifting lunges, touching the floor as you shift. Option, keep those hands up and just lateral lunge, or oh, just like the warm up, you can shift your butt back and just shift, keeping your feet planted. Number three, we're doing that plank squat here in the high plank, flipping your hips, landing with your hands outside of your, uh, your feet outside of your palms. Option, you can just step and lift, and then finally, wall run, your hands are on a wall, getting into my wall, and I'm just driving my knees. Option, you can just stand in high knee as well. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and plant our feet. Bring those feet wide in three, two, and one. Going all the way down, deep squat, really sitting that butt down. Once again, we don't want to hinge like a deadlift. We want to drop our butt like an elevator. Good. Make sure your eyes are moving with your fingers. Really sit that butt back and down. <sighs> and really trying to keep that one more elevated at all times. Getting nice and deep. Once again, if you need an option, you can just rotate and tap your knee if you're having difficulty going to the toe. Or you can just go with good old fashioned regular squats. Either way, those thighs are active and your core is contracted. Good, we got three, two more. One more. Go ahead and recover. Beautiful. Good job, y'all. So we're going these side shovel lunges. Once again, if you don't want to jump, the option you can keep your feet planted and you can just shift left and right. You can still tap the toe if you want that cross body rotation. If you want a little extra, maybe you're adding a little bit more bounce to the out. All right, here we go. In three, two, and one. Let's go. So we're laterally shuffling. Once again, if you're touching your toe, make sure we're not just completely losing our head and lowering our head. We still want to keep our eyes and head above the waistline, even as we're touching our toe. So I recommend keeping your eyes up, keeping your core tight. And remember, you can always keep those feet planted. That's totally fine. Just keep those hips shifted. Woo, you are gifted. And you're just sinking that booty super deep as you keep that knee behind that toe on whatever side that is bending in the leg. Once again, you can still touch the opposite toe. Just make sure we're not dropping our head below our waist. We got five, come on. In three, two, and one. Beautiful, we're counting. All right, plank squat. Once again with like this, you're just flipping your hips and you're staying low. So you're in the high plank, wrist on the shoulders, flipping your hips, making sure your, your feet go outside of your palms. Option, you can just step the feet and lift. Challenge, you can add a push-up if you want. All right, here we go. Hands down, three, two, and one. Let's go. Once again, with that option, just step your feet, lift your chest, and then return. You can also add a push-up even on your knees if you want that little extra. The regular variation, you just pop them up and then pop them back. But either way, you're not standing up. You're staying low and under control the entire time. So you want to literally stay down below the squat or lower the entirety of the movement. Once again, lift that chest up, drop that butt down. Making sure that core is super tight so we can always do it right. Come on, we got less than seven. Woo! One more, y'all. Three, two, and a one. Beautiful. Great job. All right, your final exercise. Let's get a wall. You can grab that wall. Hands, drive your knees. If you don't have a wall, if you're like, I'm not putting my hands on my wall, you can always just hide in. You can even add your arms for a standing mountain climber, or you can put your hands down on the ground and do a standard mountain climber as well. Three, two, and one, let's go. Whatever you prefer. You can go high knees, like myself. You can go on the wall, like Coach Jamie, or you can go mountain climber on the ground, like Coach D. Now, if you're on the floor, like Coach D, you don't have to drive the knees in hard. You can just step the toes if you need that option as well. Just make sure that those shoulders are always above those wrists. And if you're going like Coach Jamie, you want to make sure that those shoulders are always in line with the wrists. So our hands aren't too high or too low, but directly in front as we're driving. And if you're going with the high knees, just make sure the chest is up, the core is tight, and you're staying after. Come on, team, don't stop. You got five. Oh, yeah. Here, three, two, and one. There you go. Round one is done. Air fives. Great job, team. You're doing a great job. So, we go right back to those squat toe touches. And now I'm going to pay attention to your form, and I might be hollering a couple names, giving you some love. All right? Squat to toe touches. Once again, arms are wide. Here we go. In three, two, 
and one. Let's go. We're going all the way down, touching those toes. Just like Damien and Jamie, who happen to have the same tank top and matching shorts on today. It looks fantastic. That is beautiful. All right, good job, Shelly. Making sure we keep those eyes up as you drop your butt down. Good, Christine. Making sure we're dropping our butt as low as we can. Good, Seneha. Good, Linda. I appreciate you adjusting your camera. Good, Kim. Keeping those eyes up. Good, Leslie. You froze, but you froze in a perfect squat. That's what I'm talking about. Good, Kate. Got a little one behind you watching you motivate the younger generations. That's what I'm talking about. Good, Stephanie. Keep rotating as you touch. So you're rotating the chest. Good. In three, two, and one. Beautiful. Great job, team. Take a breather. If you need oxygen, hands over the head. Pull the elbows back. Inhale. And exhale. Just really on this, this, these first two, especially this next one, make sure our chest is up and our eyes and head are always above our waist. All right, we're going those lateral shifting lunges. You can hop, you can step, or keep the feet planted. Three, two, and one. Let's go. You're on the clock. Lateral. Once again, making sure those toes are permanently forward. So notice Coach Damien is going with a little baby hop, but he's choosing to keep his hands up above his collarbone so his chest doesn't stop. Now Jamie's doing the same thing, but she's giving you the lateral view. Notice how far back her knee is behind her toe. She's not allowing her body to dump her weight in her joints, which is protecting her joints and giving her muscles a little bit more work. There you go, Rachel. Love it. You're working while the kids are lounging. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Good, Leslie. Left and right. We got the animales in the room. I love it. Working around the dogs. Great job. Allison, good job, Lisa, keeping the head up. Three, two, and a one. Everybody recover. Oh my goodness. Woo, inhale and exhale. I'm pretty sure I'm mentally doing lunges, so thank you. I appreciate you. We're going into plank squats now. So you're going to go back down to the high plank. Make sure your wrist is directly under your shoulder. You can flip, you can step, or you can add the push up. Here we go. In three, two, and a one. Let's go. So once again, if you want to do it like Coach Damien, you can add that push up, but notice he's just stepping. So he's just stepping his feet to the outside of his palms, getting that wide stance. Coach Jamie right here, she is popping up and lifting her chest up, but also try to bring those hands up above the collarbone. That will promote a taller spine and greater posture for you so you can have better posture overall. There you go, Leslie, really staying low. Good job, Allison, lifting those hands up. Good job, Seneha. Yes, Kim. Good, Shelly. Your hands should be up. Like if I was throwing you a virtual football, you should be able to catch it. There you go, Shelly. Yes, Linda. Good, Christine. Come on, we got five. We got one more. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Great job. Sometimes we pop up and we're like, ah. <laughs> That's what it looks like when we pop up at it. Ah. <laughs> All right, good job, team. We got one more here, and then we got one more round. Wall run. Once again, you can put your hands on the ground like Coach D. You can go to your favorite wall like Jamie, or you can uh, do high knees like I am mentally. Three, two, and one. Let's go. You're on it. Come on, team. We're getting right to it. Drive the knees. Good. Make sure if you're touching the wall that you're really keeping your core braced and your wrist is always in front of your shoulder. Don't let your arm get away from you and actively press into the wall. Make sure you have a, a sturdy wall if you're doing that, but actively press as you drive. Almost like you're trying to push the wall away from you. What that will do, it will activate your core even more and it will make it harder for you to drive your legs, which means you will activate more muscle fibers and you will get more out of it. Good Lando with the hands on the ground and the mountain climber. Yes, Leslie, loving it when you're kicking the towel. <laughs> Come on, get him. Good team. In three, two, and one. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Air fives, air fives. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, I got to get these two air fives, too. They're doing all the work. I'm doing the verbs. Hey. <laughs> all right, we're going to do it one last time. Doing a full, full circle. Look at that. Look, you see their matching outfits? It's so cute. So cute. All right, here we go. Squat to toe touch. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Make sure we're getting that butt all down as you rotate and tap. Good. Actively rotate. So if you want your spine to rotate even more, your eyes are moving with the hands. So you're literally looking to the side as you squat, but make sure your butt is still going straight down. Make sure the eyes don't drop below the waistline. So Kim, if you can, try to bring the butt lower. Yeah, bring the butt lower. There you go. Really getting that butt nice and low. Focus on the squat first and then the rotation second, and then fuse the two together after you conquer each one individually. Good. You got five. Good, Rachel. You had a little hot to it. I love it. Three, two, and one. Recover. Ah, great job, team. All right. Side shuffle touch. Once again, if you want more of a challenge, give yourself more distance. Maybe you're going wider or you're just sitting your butt back deeper. Either way, if you're touching the opposite toe, don't let the head drop. You want to keep the chest high. Here we go. In three, deuce, uno. Let's go. We're going left and right. Come on. 
Good. Good. Now, if you can, try to avoid putting one hand on the thigh so that thigh has to go through more. Also, how wide can you make your legs? Look at how wide Damien's legs are. I know he's really long in the legs and in the body. He's a very long, lean man. But look at Jamie. Look how wide she's going. She's not as tall as Damien. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful weight. Good, Kate. Good, Stephanie. Yes, Allison. Loving those beautiful wide steps. Good, Lisa. Way to not hit the car in the garage. That's what I'm talking about. Good job, Rachel. Yes, Christine. Got the whole home gym in the house. I love it. Good, Saneha. Yes, Shelly. Come on, team. In three, two, and one. Great job, y'all. So your second to last one here, plank squat, air five. Nah, I just wanna throw that in there. All right, so we're gonna go plank squat. Once again, if you wanna add that push up, you can do it on your toes or your knees. It's a cardio day, but you can add a little bit more strength if you want in there, all right? Here we go, hands down, in three, two, and one. Everybody stay low. The goal is to stay low the entire time. So we don't wanna actively stand up. We wanna stay in that active squat and then just right back down. There you go, it's like, ha, ah. <laughs> there you go. Ah. <laughs> there you go, pop those hands up. Ah. <laughs> good, Linda. Good, Christine. Good, Kay. That's what I'm talking about, Stephanie. Got the animales in there. Where's she at? There she is. <laughs> there she is. There we go, Allison. Good job. Good, Leslie. Hey, Rita, people, what's going on? You guys killing it. Good. Eight seconds. Come on. Keep popping. Keep working. In five. Oh, yes. Let it burn. Let you earn. Three. Two and uno, breather, great job. All right, wall run, last one. So with this wall run, once again, make sure your wrists are in front of your shoulders and you're gonna actively press the wall as you drive your knees and activate your core. All right, you can also just do standing high knees or mountain climbers with your hand on the ground, but actively press there as well. Three, two, and one, let's go. Everybody's on the clock, come on team. Try to stay on the upper third of the foot. You're gonna get a 20 second recovery after this where we are all gonna hold the deep squat together. So keep staying active. Good Lisa, good Kim. It's almost like you're driving your knees into your chest. That's what I'm talking about. Good Rachel, yes Leslie. Good, staying soft on the feet. Good Linda with the mountain climbers. Yes Christine, getting those knees high. Come on team, 15 seconds till we hold the deep squat. Yes, yes Stephanie, great use of the mantle. That's what I'm talking about. Good, good team. Come on, Saneha, keep driving. Five. All right, y'all, we're all gonna hold the deep squat in three, two, and butt down. 20 seconds, let's go. Butt down, come on, this is your extra little credit. Good. Ah, really hold that butt low. Good, keep the eyes up, keep the chest up. Once again, we wanna make sure our eyes are up. Notice Coach Damien with the wall sit. <sighs> Quick thinker he is. Three. Two and one recover. Great job, team. Ready to be air five, air five, air five. All right, so speaking of five, we have five exercises and they are fantastic. So you're gonna do three rounds of each exercise at 30 seconds apiece. Exercise number one, we're gonna go right into a squat jack. So you can add weight if you want more of a challenge, but you're literally just gonna wind your feet, drop your butt down, and then pop up. Option, step your feet in and then drop. Challenge, you can add a weight, or you can add a flutter kick if you want a little extra. Exercise number two, we're gonna do the iron cross and grab a two weight, shoulders roll back. You're gonna hip hinge, bring the legs down, squeeze the boots, pop up, open up into a T, bring it in, and then return. Option, lighter or no weight. Number three, you're doing a reverse lunge, and you're popping up with your knee on your left leg. Option, no jump. You're gonna do that again on your uh, right leg. After you do three rounds in the final one, you're gonna do lateral hops. The cone knee tight. Hands on the waist, the option, you can just step over the piece of equipment. Squat check, three, two, and one. Let's go, drop the butt down. 30 seconds. Eyes up, chest up. Once again, if you need that option, you can always just step, step, squat. Or you can just keep your feet planted once again and just work on those squats. But with these squat checks, we want to drop our butt down. Even though Tad doesn't seem to want to bring his booty down, that's what we're doing. Good. Once again, if you want a challenge, you can add that little flutter kick. Woo, and burn off that extra flutter kick. Three, two, and one, we're coming. Woo. All right, we're doing it two more times, and then we're not going to do this exercise again. All right, y'all. So remember, eyes up, chest up. Here we go, squat jack, round two. In three, two, and one, let's go. Everybody squat jack, and come on. So drop your butt down. Good, Shelly, if you're able to bring that butt down lower, that'll help you incorporate, yes. Good, Linda, love the extra dumbbell. Good, Rhea, keeping the eyes up. There's people, there he is. Hey. <laughs> yes, Lisa, 
Lisa, great job getting nice and low. Good Leslie with the added weight. Good Sineha, I love the deck. Good Allison with the weight. Yes, Stephanie, the animals are calm. Good, we got five seconds. Come on, Christine, you got it. Three, two, and Rachel, get it and recover. Oh, good job, y'all. Man, oh, I look tough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are killing it. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, so we're gonna do one final squat jack, then we're gonna move on to that iron cross, all right? Here we go, in three, two, and one. Final squat jack, come on team. So you're getting that butt extra low. Good, Cam, really focusing on the depth of the squat. Really keeping the eyes up every time you drop your butt so you can get an extra centimeter, extra quarter inch. Just get a little extra every single time. Notice that Damien is slowing it down. He's focusing more on his depth, making sure his hands are up, and then Jamie's going for more speed for a higher level of a heart rate. Good team. Come on. Good, Rita. Good people. Woo, stay consistent. Three, two, and one. Recover. All right, you got 30 seconds. Now, once again, with the iron cross, take a look at Jamie. She's going to grab her weights. <laughs> All right, her and Damien, we're gonna hinge at the hips, we're gonna bring the weights back, load the glutes and the hammies, pop up, they're gonna open up into a T, squeeze, and then lower again. Make sure your eyes move with the weights as you bring them down. Option, Damien has that uh, water bottle, you can go into a deadlift, and then do a front raise, and you can bring it all the way overhead. Three, two, and one, everybody is on the clock, let's go. So you're hinging down, eyes go down, lift the weight up, open, close, Lower, good. So every time you're doing it, you want to make sure that your eyes go with the weight. So if the weights go down, your eyes go down. As you squeeze your glutes and bring the weights up, you're up, you're opening slow, squeezing and control, and then hinging again. Really feel that lengthen and strengthen feeling in those hammies as you burn those hammies. Three, two, and recover. Great job, team. All right, so we're gonna do that two more times. Once again, the option is lighter weight. You can even do this weightless and just work on mobility and lengthening and strengthening the backside of your body. All right, here we go. Three, two, and one. Everybody's on the clock. Let's go. So once again, eyes move with the weights. Open, close, and then hinge. So it's hinge, you come up, open, close, hinge. Up, open, close, hinge. There you go, Stephanie. Love the control. Good, Rachel. Love those dumbbells. That's some serious dumbbells. Good, Rena. Try to get those weights all the way up to the shoulders. So remember, you want to have your arms right by the shoulders. There you go. Hey, that's nice. That's nice. You got them up to the shoulders. There you go, Allison. There you go, Lisa. I love the mini band. Recover. Good. So once again, if you're two weights that you have, let's say they're too heavy, remember what Coach Damien gave you in the beginning, that option. You can have one weight. You can just hinge and lift the weight up. Three, two, and one. Everybody's on the clock. It's your final iron cross exercise. Come on, team, you are on it. Once again, if you need to go to one way, you can just deadlift, come up, lift the weight, and then lower for just a front raise. That is totally fine as well. But try to keep those arms straight the whole time. There you go, Rita, good people. Yes, Rachel, good Kate, good Linda. Yes, Christine, thank you, moving those eyes with the weights. Yes, Shelly, good Cam, looking solid. In five, good Stephanie, three. Good, Allison, two, and recover. All right, y'all, so we're gonna move into that back lunge high knee. So once again, with this one, you don't have to jump if you don't want to, but we're gonna step back with our left leg. Step back with our left leg, drop your back knee about an inch off the ground so you create two 90 degree bends in your knees, drive the knee up, and then return. Option, just stand and drive the knee up. You can also just go with a reverse lunge if you prefer, or you can plant the foot and go static. If you want a challenge, you can add the weight like Coach Zaney has in his hands. Left leg step back, three, two, and one. So you're stepping back with the left, driving up, and then just dropping it back down. Once again, option, you don't have to jump. You can just step back, drive the knee, and then step back again. You can also come back to center, drive the knee, set it down, and then step from there as well. Whatever you need to do to be successful. Remember, if you want more of that static one, you can also just step that left leg back and just work on dropping the left leg consistently, keeping both feet permanently planted. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Three, two, and one. Beautiful recover. Good. Oh man, these are, these are isolated burns. Y'all are killing it. So we're gonna do the same side again two more times before we do the same thing on the other leg, all right? Here we go, three, two, and one. Let's go, everybody's on the clock, come on. Dropping that back knee down. Good, really getting that knee high. Now make sure that the opposite arm is coming up. So whatever thighs in front, that opposite arm is raising 
as you drop that back leg down. So whatever leg's going down, that arm's going up. There you go. Go on, Lisa. Good, Allison. Good, Rena. Come on, people. Oh, yeah. Good, Leslie. Good, Rachel. Yes, Kate. Love the form. Three. Good, Christine. Two. And one. Recover. Oh, my goodness. Great job, y'all. Ah. Take a nice inhale. And a nice exhale. Really control that breathing. Take a sip of water if you need it. We're going again. Final round. Three, two, and one. Final round on the same leg. Same leg. Left leg stepping back, driving the knee up. There you go, Kim. Remember, we want to keep those eyes and chest up, so you should always be able to see forward, whether you're looking at the screen and looking at us, or if you're looking at the wall or just looking at a beautiful picture you have hanging in your home. Good, Rachel. Yes, Stephanie, with the added dumbbell. Love it. Good, Allison. Come on, team. Good, Lisa. Remember, the core's tight. So if you feel like you're wobbling, make sure your feet are on train tracks and not a high wire. So you want those feet hip width. Three, two, and one. Recover. Oh my goodness. You see them grabbing their thighs? You see that? You see that? That means it's tired. <laughs> good job. Good job. Good job. All right, so we do the same thing again, but on the other leg. So now whatever leg, let's say if you did the left leg, which is the recommended leg, then we're going to do the right. If you happen to do the right last time, you're just going to do the left. Either way, just switch legs and make sure your eyes are up and your chest is up. Once again, you can add weight if you want that extra challenge, all right? Here we go, team. In three, in two. And one, let's go. Drop that back knee straight down and then power that knee straight up. That's what I'm talking about, good. Yes, Kate, love the alternating arms. Good, Rachel, adding that little pop at the top. Yes, you too, Leslie. Rita and people are on one accord, going at the same pace, I love it. Good, Allison, good, Lisa, come on. Good, Sinead, I'll get that extra weight. Yes, Shelly, get nice and deep. Good, Christine, got your dog lounging as you're working. Yes, Linda, keeping that chest high, three, Two, and one, recover. Oh my goodness. Oh, feels good. How we doing everybody? We doing good? We doing great? Ha <laughs> smile on your face. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we got two more rounds on the same leg, then we're gonna move on to our next exercise. Three, two, and uno, you are on the clock. Let's go, let's go. Everybody's working. Good, remember, you can go as fast or as slow as you like. If you start to get out of breath and you want to slow it down, feel free to take the, the more slow variation like Coach B. You can also remove the knee drive if you ever need, or you can go the higher intensity variation with Coach Jamie, where she's popping up and really driving that knee straight to the ceiling. Good, Rachel, keep working. Good, Leslie. Come on, Allison, you've got this. Good, Stephanie, love the weight. Good, Kate, three, two, and recover. Oh my goodness, uno mas on this right leg. Last one, y'all, last one. Whoa, it feels good, looks good, is good. That's what I'm talking about. Last one, in three, in two, and one. This is your final time doing the lunge step back to the knee drive. So you're really staying in control, but still being explosive. You know this is your last time, so even if you're keeping your feet planted, really drive the knee up. Really think about driving that knee up. There you go. Love those added weights there, Christine. Yes. Good, Kim. Way to keep that core contracted, keeping that body nice and stiff as you drop that butt down along with that knee. Good, Stephanie. Good, Lisa. Come on, come on, we got it, come on. Good, three, two, and recover. Oh my goodness. All right, so whenever you see a cone, like you do right now in your bottom right hand corner of your screen, that means you're going for height. So you don't have to use an actual prop, like I'm gonna use my water bottle, but we're gonna keep our feet under our hips, you're gonna pull your knees up, and you're gonna laterally hop. You can put your hands on your waist like Tad, you can also just step over the bottle, you can even do a log pop, you can have something on the side, or you can just pretend like something's on the ground. Either way, we're going left and right. Three, two, and one, let's go. So once again, you don't have to go fast, you can just land, soft, and then explode, but actively pull your knees and your heels up. Good, remember you wanna keep your eyes up though. Keep those eyes elevated the whole time. Good, yes Christine got the code out, I love it. Good Leslie, good reader, good people. Come on Allison, you got that, love the log hop. Good Lisa, good Seneha. Remember we're all about height if you can. Three, two, and recover. Great job y'all. All right, so we got two more. Then we're moving on to our final block, which has got a good amount of core in it, so you're gonna really enjoy that. So, remember with the code, it's about height, pull your knees and your heels up. Pretend like you're jumping over a mini fence. Three, two, and one, you're on, let's go. Once again, you don't have to jump, you can just step, but if you are going with a step, ideally, you're stepping 
Like you're getting over a fence and a little chihuahua is trying to nip at your ankles. So you want to actively get over that fence without ripping your pants. That's what I'm talking about. Good. Get nice and high. Good, Leslie. Love how high we're getting those feet and those knees. Good, Rachel. Good, Allison. Stay with that log hop. Yes, Kim, with the speedy speeds. Yeah, Shelly. Good, Kate. Come on, Linda. Good, Christine. Recover. Good job, Lisa. Ah. All right, your final lateral hops. And then we're moving on to our final block of the day. Y'all are absolutely crushing it. Happy Monday. Here we go. In three, dos, uno. It's your final lateral hops, left and right. Once again, yes, Kate, I love those ice skater variations landing on one foot. That is beautiful unilateral work. Good, Kim, stay with those speedy aerobic movements. Yes, Christine, love the usage of the cone, staying soft and subtle. Good, Linda, going with that cross body toe touch. Good, Rachel. Good, Rena, people. Yes, both of you are taking a different approach. I love it. Good, Stephanie. Good, Allison. Come on, we got five. Couple more hops. In three, two, and one. Recover. Ah. All right, y'all, this is the last block of the day, and we are doing a set rep. So you're gonna do this at your own pace. Exercise number one, you're doing the side oblique crunch. So you're gonna lay on your side, your arm is gonna be extended out, you're gonna bring those uh, legs together, bend the knees, you're gonna bring your fingertips to your uh, temple, and you're gonna bring your knees up, trying to tap your knee with your elbow. Option, you can just bring one leg up if you like. You can also just keep your legs planted and just crunch from the side from there. Or you can plant your feet and do those windshield like or heel taps. 10 reps on each side. Then we're gonna do the V up toe touch. You can do this with or without a weight. You're just gonna keep those legs straight. You're gonna come all the way up and you're gonna go through your toes. Option, you can do no weight and you can always just go to the knees or plant the feet and crunch. And then finally, Superman's, you're gonna lay down, arms and legs split out, and you're gonna squeeze your lower back, your glutes and your core pop up, and then slowly lower. Option, you can separate, do one or the other, or bring your arms back. All right, y'all, final eight minutes have just begun. So we're gonna go with side oblique crunches. Once again, ideally, you're laying on your side, your bottom arm is extended out. Your fingertips are on your temples, your legs are stacked, and you're gonna bring both legs up. Try to bring your elbow to touch your knee. You can press through the palm that's on the ground if you want a little extra lift and assistance on the way up. If you wanna make it more challenging, minimize the press of the arm that's on the ground. You can also keep those legs straighter and that will make it more difficult. Action, once again, you can bend those legs a little bit more. Now, once again, you're doing 10 on each side. Or, yeah, 10 on each side. So you do 10 on the left, then you roll over and do 10 on the right. Nice, Shelly, with that added weight. Love it. Good job, Sineha. Really getting those knees up. Really thinking about condensing that side body. Nice cake, keeping the arm and the leg straight. That's some Pilates level work. I love it. Good job, Stephanie. Getting that knee all the way up to the elbow. Good. Now, remember, with the V-up toe touch, once you get there, you bring those legs up, and then you try to bring those arms to meet the toes. So you'll sit all the way up, bringing the legs up, and then you'll drive the arms up to the toes to try to create that V shape at the top. If you want to make it more challenging, you can lift your arms and your legs up simultaneously. You can also just bend your knees and bring the ball to touch your knees without lifting your upper back off the ground. And you can always just do a standard crunch as well. Notice Coach Damien is taking it nice and slow along with Coach Jamie where they're coming up and then they're pressing straight up. So think about bringing your arms and legs up, then reaching for your toe. So it's a two in one almost variation. There you go, Shelly, nice. Good. Uh, it's okay, Leslie, it's okay. We're on it, we're on it. <laughs> you got it, you got it, you got it. <laughs> good. good, 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 Rita. Yes, Linda. There you go, Allison, love the weight selection. Good, Kim, got that new bell, love it. Good, now once we get to those Supermans, there you go, Leslie. Try to hold for one as you pop up. Hold for one and lower slowly for two to three seconds. There you go. If you keep those limbs straight the whole time, it'll be even more beneficial and challenging. So notice Damien comes up, pauses, and then lowers slowly once he comes down. If you want that option, you can bring your arms to the side. You can bring like your whole hip pose, which you can't go to right now, but you put your arms to the side, you're like a seal. So then you just bring your chest and your legs up. You can also just separate. So it's an arm, arm, 
Uh, I'm the seal. <laughs> Ajay, once again, you can just lift one, like the upper body and then the lower body, and you can always change your arm placement. If you want, you can be like a cactus and have those arms bent at a 90 degree and lift like a cactus as well. Beautiful. Nice and steady. You got five minutes off. Once you're done with your 10 Supermans, you go right back up to those oblique crunches. Right back. So try to minimize your rest period if possible. Good job, Linda. Way to keep moving. Good job, Sineha. Good job, Kim. Yes. Come on, team. I know. I know. It's a lot harder. But you got to remember, you're not the only one doing this right now. We got a whole team working together, even though we're not in the same room together. Good, Rachel. Good, Linda. Loving how we're getting that elbow to test that knee. Good, Kate. Loving the arm staying straight. That is absolutely phenomenal. Great job, Stephanie. Yes, Allison. Loving how high we're getting up with that arm and those legs. Yes, Shelly, with the weights. I absolutely adore that. Good job, Sineha. Really getting up. Ooh, somebody just turned the fan on in here. I can feel it. Oh, my goodness. Good job, Kim. Getting nice and high. Now, notice you can go with the single leg variation if you want. Or you can go super duper high like Coach D. Coach D's in the back getting as high as he can, almost getting a V shape from the side body. There you go. Yes, good, Rachel. I see just your head, that means you're working. I love it, I love it. <laughs> yes, Kate, love it how high we're getting those legs and uh, those arms. Now remember, as you're doing the V up, the reason why we separate the movement is because we don't want to cheat ourselves by swinging our arms. So you bring the arms over, then you drive the chest up. So when you're doing that V up, really try to avoid swinging those arms profusely. You want to just be nice and slow and in control. Good. So notice Jamie in the background, she's going slow, bringing it together, then driving up, slowly lowering, then expanding. So it's a four step process. You crunch, you raise, you lower, you expand. Yes. Good, Stephanie. Good, Allison. Loving that Superman looking like Superwoman. Come on. We got three minutes to go. I'm assuming Rena and Deeper are on the floor because the youngins are looking down. <laughs> Come on, team. Yes, Linda with the kettlebell. You are a kettlebell monster. I love it. Good, Christine. I know. You got your pup on nearby just waiting for, waiting for the pets. You're killing it. You're killing it. Good, Shelly, with the weight, keep it up. Now, once again, if you ever need to take a breather or if you need to go with an option or change the variation that you're approaching, feel free, that is totally fine. Remember, it would be better to go consistent than to try to work yourself to a point where you can't move tomorrow. We wanna be able to stay consistent with these workouts even though they're at home. Good. So now notice how I, Jamie, she's almost like a face down, like a pronated starfish coming all the way up and then slowly lowering down. Now make sure when you do your Superman that your abs are tight, your glutes are squeezed, and you're feeling it in your lower back. And you wanna make sure your eyes are always down. Thinking about keeping your neck in line with your whole spine. Yes, two minute warning all my people on the screen. Come on team. All the ladies and people, come on y'all. <laughs> ah, let's go team. Good. So I like to think when I'm doing a Superman that I'm actually flying. So literally visualize yourself flying. You may be able to get yourself up an extra quarter inch or so. There you go, Leslie. Camera's on fleek. It's working well. There we go. With the leg lift. Good variation. Good, Stephanie. Loving how high we're getting that elbow and that knee. Kate staying with those elongated limbs. Good, Sinead. You look like you're flying. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Good job, Kim, working with that new bell. Good, Rachel, getting those legs all the way up. Yes, Linda. Come on, team, we got just over one minute. You got at least one to two more exercises that you have time to complete. So the only person you're competing with right now is yourself. And make sure if you're doing that first exercise, you're getting both sides evenly. So we have less than a minute. We got 56 seconds left. Come on, team. Come on, stay in, stay in control, stay focused. Good. Remember, everything that you're doing is for the future you. Your future self appreciates your hard work so much right now. You are making so much progress, and you just gotta remember that it's in the long run. We're looking for the long-term success with these short-term wins. Good, 30 seconds. Come on, team, 30 seconds. Make sure we're getting both sides. Yes, Christine, staying after with those oblique side crunches. 
Good, Shelly. Still working with the weight. Same for you, Kim. Great job. Yes, Sine, I'm getting that upper body and those knees up. Yes, Linda, working with the kettlebell. Good, Kate, getting that new bell all the way up. Yes, Stephanie, stay with those pronated supermans. Good, Allison, getting after it. Getting that oblique lateral crunch going, ready for time is up. Good, Lisa, Rachel, Rita, Beeple, Leslie, three, two, one. Ah, clap it up for yourselves, everybody. Great job. We're gonna go ahead and come down to a stretch. Come on down to a stretch. Hey, first off, air fives. Ah, 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 ah. Air fives. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Y'all are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for putting in that work. We're gonna go ahead and stretch, so don't leave yet. We're gonna stretch for five minutes. If you have a foam roller, feel free to follow a tad. If you don't, I'm gonna lead you through a stretch. So, let's go ahead and find some space on the floor. Now, once you find some space, we're going to get into a quad stretch. So if you have a foam roller, feel free to roll out with your quad roll. You're going to bring that right leg out in front, pull that left leg back, bring the top of that foot to the ground. Let's go ahead and inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, lean on back. So I just want to say this. Jamie put out one of the nicest looking newsletters I've ever seen in my entire life. It's very interactive, and it has a bingo. So you're really going to enjoy it. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, I looked at before I went to bed, I was like, she really did a good job. That's literally what I was thinking when I was looking. I was like, she did a very good job. And she spent all day on it. And you're welcome. You know, you, you know thank you. Uh, so check out that newsletter. I'm telling you, you can tell she put a lot of effort into it. Uh, we got theme days, and we're literally doing bingo. Switch legs. Doing bingo. So I'm telling you, uh, even though we can't go out with our grandma and go, bingo, you can do it here with Eat the Frog, but from where you're at. That's nice. Inhale and exhale. Also, don't forget, Coach D still has, uh, what is it, four? Four PE workouts that are out? Four PE workouts already out. He's going to post another one this week. Yeah, he's going to keep posting them until we can see you in the studio. Um, so, got those PE workouts for you and your niños y niñas, your children's. Children's is plural, just in case you have more than one. Let's go ahead and bring that leg out front. We're going to grab our left leg and bring it across the body and hug our thigh. Super tight. So, hug your thigh. If you want, you can go in that glute roll if you have a foam roller. Also, uh, flex core is no longer called flex core. It's called agility because it's going to increase your ability in a myriad of ways. That's right. So uh, it's called agility, but it's still going to be the same format as flex core. Uh, there's a reason why they're changing it, and you will find out why the name has changed soon. Very excited for you. Uh, when you're ready, it's going to take that right elbow, bring it across the left leg, and then add that rotation. Inhale, and exhale. Ah. Also, don't forget they have those uh, stretches, the, the mobility, 15-minute sessions, along with those 15-minute core sessions on there as well with these uh, templates as you receive them. Let's go ahead and switch legs. Bring the other leg across. Hug that knee in super duper tight. Inhale and exhale. Pull it in nice and tight. Also, today is day 25 of our 100 rep 31 day challenge here at Eat the Frog. Uh, it is a pronated pinch and press, great for posture work. It is not an, a posture imposter, it is a proper posture influencer, just like everybody on social media. Hey. <laughs> Go ahead and inhale, rotate that arm, and exhale. Good. So if you haven't joined the 100 rep challenge, guess what? You can start today. And no, you don't have to do the previous exercises. That is totally fine as well. Let's go ahead and exhale. Let's go ahead and crisscross applesauce. We're going to go into the child pose to mimic that child pose roll. So bring your big toes to touch. You're going to inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, walk your hands out as you sit your butt back onto your heels. And really elongate your, uh, your lat muscles. Good. So really lengthening the lats. Inhale and exhale. You can also inhale, drop your left ear, exhale. That will help you lengthen your lap just a little bit more on one side. Inhale, maybe you drop it to the other side, exhale. It's a great position to just hang out. If you're feeling tight and stressed, this is a great de stressing pose. Great to open up those hips. I'm all getting this fine. Let's go ahead and inhale all the way up to tabletop. Inhale. And then let's go ahead and exhale. Pop it back to downward facing dog. Let's pedal those feet out a couple of times. And because we do all those lunges, once you're done pedaling out your feet, let's go ahead and inhale our right leg high. And exhale. Bring it out wide of the right hand to that lunge stretch. Good. Now we're going to inhale. Bring the right arm up. 
And then exhale, bring that arm down. You're trying to bring the forearm to the floor. So seeing how low you can get to the ground. It's okay if you want to stay up on your palms, but seeing how deep you can bring your upper body down. So you can even pop your back knee off the ground if you have the capabilities, but start slow and control. I popped it up and I put it right back down. <laughs> David did the same thing. <laughs> Uh, deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Press through those palms, bring those hands back. Let's return that right foot next to the left, and inhale the left leg high. Exhale, sweep that left leg outside of the palms. Inhale, lift the left arm. Exhale, bring that forearm back down to the ground. We got about 10 seconds here. Hanging out, nice and consistent. Whatever you did on the right side, do it on the left. Uh, Good. One more deep breath in here, and exhale. Let's go ahead and pop up to our palms. Inhale, bring that left foot to meet the right. Pat it around a couple more times. Walk those hands slowly back to the feet. Inhale, up one vertebrae at a time. Couple shoulder rolls back, and boom! You are done. Pop it up to yourself, team. Remember, let me unmute everybody real quick. So before you run away, we just want to say bye to everybody. Uno segundo, uno segundo. All right, great job, everybody. How are we feeling? Good. Good job. Um, yeah, does anybody have any big plans for the week? Has everybody already seen the, the newsletter that Jenny made? Yeah, it looks great. It looks great. Hey, thank you. Hey, thank so you can have cake if you comment. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> uh, well, good job, Christine. Do you need anything? Good job, Shelly. Anything for you? Oh, you can't tell who I'm pointing at. Kim, what about you? Do you need anything? <laughs> You're good? Yeah, you're great. That's what I'm talking about. You're, you're killing it. You're killing it. Sineha, what about you? Yeah, doing great. Doing great? What about you, Linda? How you feeling? Good, really good. Doing a great job with that kettlebell. Kate, you are absolutely flexible. I appreciate you. Do you need anything? Um, I need somebody to homeschool my kindergartner. Yeah. <laughs> hey, turn on that PE workout with Damien. I'm telling you, that'll help. Oh, hey! Hey! Look at he's so cute. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All four. All four. Oh. You're a busy bee, you're a busy bee. I love it. Hey, I applaud you, I don't have kids yet, so I'm learning just from all of you right now, so I appreciate you. They're awesome, like <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. What about you, Stephanie, how you feeling? I'm very good, you're doing a great job with the animals roaming around the living room, I gotta tell you. You're very good at dodging them. <laughs> and then Allison, how you feeling? You feeling good? I'm good. Good, good, good. Lisa, how you doing? Good job, you're killing it in the garage, not running into the car. I give you applause for that, that's fantastic. <laughs> Rachel, great job, you got your kids chilling on the bed. How you feeling, you been good? Yeah, homeschool, hey, you know what? There is an end, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. It's coming, it's coming. We gotta stay optimistic, that's what we're hearing for each other for. Absolutely. What about you, Rena people, you guys good? We're good. Anybody need anything? I need more guys in here. You need more guys? Hey, shout out. Hey, we got me and Damien and you, the hey, trifecta. Hey, people. The trifecta. One of the, one of the bingo spots is bring a buddy. There you go. Ah, so everybody's got it. So for people, next session, bring a male buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, you guys. Well, um, if you need anything, please let us know. Um, but other than that, y'all have a fantastic week and happy Monday. Great job, you guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye, you guys. Thank you. Bye.